Hi guys, I'm Jennifer with The Family Fudge and today I'm sharing some yummy party foods that are perfect for the whole family, especially if you're getting together for the big game. Starting with hot corn dip. This recipe is super easy and perfect to throw together the day before your party. I'm starting with about three cups of corn kernels. Now I'm using two cans of corn today, but you also could use fresh corn or even frozen. I'm also using one four ounce can of diced green chilies, one clove of garlic, about four ounces of room temperature cream cheese, half a cup of Greek yogurt, or you could use sour cream, a half a cup of shredded pepper jack cheese, three quarters of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and finally about a quarter cup of green onions. In a medium sized mixing bowl, I'm going to start by adding all of my softened cream cheese. Next, I'm going to add the Greek yogurt and a can of diced green chilies. I just love the combination of cheese and chilies. It is so good. And then I'm just going to give this a stir. And because the cream cheese is at room temperature, it blends together really easily. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my green onions, and I only need about half a cup. And I'm gonna use both the green and the white. Now, I'm going to add most of my green onion to my mixing bowl, but I am gonna leave out just a bit. That way I can garnish the dip when it comes out of the oven. Next comes the garlic, and I'm just going to grate mine directly into the bowl but you could also just mince it finely with your knife. Next, I'm going to add almost all of my shredded cheddar cheese and almost all of my shredded pepper jack cheese. I wanna make sure to save a little bit of each to sprinkle on the top of our dip. Next, I'm going to add all of my corn, which I've also drained. Now just as a side note you guys, if you wanted this dip to be extra spicy, you could definitely chop up a jalapeno or two and add it in at this point. But I'm just going to use the mild green chilies because I want everybody in my party to enjoy it. And now I'm just going to give this a stir. And if you'd like to, you could also add some salt and pepper to taste. But for me, all of that cheese in there has a lot of salt and the green chilies give it enough heat for my liking. Next, I'm going to pour this mixture into a two quart baking dish. And then I'm going to top it with the remaining cheese. Now I'm actually making this the night before my party. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some saran wrap on the top at this point and then stick it in the fridge. And I'm also gonna make sure to reserve my green onions as well. Now this dip is meant to be served hot, but it's very good at room temperature as well. So about 30 minutes before my guests arrive, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of my fridge and get it into my oven, which I've preheated to 350 degrees for about 25 minutes or until heated through and the cheese will be nice and brown and bubbly and melted. Now I'm just gonna remove this from my oven and serve hot with tortilla chips or even vegetables to dip in here would be delicious. Next up, I'm making these easy cheeseburger bites. The trick to making these quick and easy is to use frozen meatballs. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with one bag of these frozen meatballs and these are the Angus beef ones. So they're all beef and they're flame broiled. So they have a really good flavor. I'm also going to be using about one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of butter, some slices of sharp cheddar cheese, some cherry tomatoes, and some baby pickles. Oh yes, and the lettuce. I'm also using some green leaf lettuce, and you're going to want a mini bamboo skewer. They're a little bit longer than a toothpick, but not a huge skewer either, somewhere in between. In a large pan over medium heat, I'm gonna start by drizzling in my olive oil. To this, I'm also gonna add my butter and let that melt. Next, I'm going to prepare my cheese. This is sharp cheddar cheese and it is pre-sliced. I'm gonna go ahead and just fold them so I end up with four pieces per slice. Now you could cut these if you'd like, but I like to just fold them. It's quick and easy and it gives it sort of a rustic look. 
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my frozen meatballs. Now, definitely you could defrost these first and that'll help them cook a lot faster. But if you're like me and you forget to defrost them, that's totally fine. Go ahead and just stick them in the pan. I'm gonna stir this around so that all the meatballs are coated in the olive oil and the butter because we want these to have a nice crust when we're done. The trick to making these extra tasty is to let them brown. You really want that nice dark color on there, it adds a lot of flavor. While our meatballs are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare our lettuce. Now you definitely could use iceberg lettuce if you prefer, but I really like this kind of lettuce because it doesn't wilt as fast. And if you're taking this to a party, it might stay out on the buffet. You don't want something that's going to wilt right away. Now these meatballs were fully cooked, we really just had to heat them up. So once they are heated up, I can go ahead and build this hors d'oeuvre. And I'm going to build these in reverse. So I'm gonna start with my cherry tomato, then I'm gonna add my baby pickle. Now these are dill pickles because that's what I prefer, but you can use any you like. Next, I'm going to add my cheese, and I'm actually taking two of these squares of cheese, just so it's a little bit more substantial on my skewer. Next, I'm going to add the lettuce, and lastly, I'm going to add my meatball. Now, at this point, the meatballs are still warm, so you definitely could serve this warm, or a room temperature is just fine, too. These would be excellent served with a fry sauce. You know, you just take a little bit of ketchup and mayonnaise, a little bit of pickle juice, and mix it up together it would make a really good dipping sauce for these. And finally, I'm making loaded sheet pan nachos. Not only are these nachos super quick and easy, but they are definitely a crowd pleaser. They can be made in less than 20 minutes and it's totally customizable to your own tastes. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with a regular size bag of tortilla chips, which is about 12 ounces. And then I have one pound of ground beef, but you could also use turkey. I'm also using about two tablespoons of olive oil, one package of taco seasoning, or you could make your own, a 15 ounce can of pinto beans, or you could use black beans, about three cloves of garlic crushed, one small onion finely diced, next is half a cup of water, and then we have a lot of toppings. You could use your favorite salsa, fresh lime would be delicious, tomatoes, avocados, guacamole, I really like some cilantro on mine, and then of course we have cheese. I'm gonna be using a combination of this Mexican four cheese blend and some good old shredded cheddar cheese. Oh yes, and don't forget the sour cream. I'm gonna start by adding two tablespoons of olive oil to my large skillet over medium heat. Then I'm going to cook my ground beef and my onions together. When the meat is no longer pink and the onions are softened, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the excess oil. Then I'm gonna add all of my garlic, my taco seasoning, my beans, and my water. You're gonna want anywhere between a quarter cup to half a cup of water. And I like to use my potato masher to slightly crush up the beans. Next, I'm gonna place a single layer of tortilla chips on my baking pan. And then comes all of your yummy toppings. First is the meat mixture with the beans, and your cheese and whatever else you'd like. Now place this in the oven until the cheese is melted. When it comes out of the oven, you can add just about anything. Now you're gonna to wanna to serve this right away. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.